the main branches or the main trunks and sub branches that are coming out from the Chaitanya tree uh, is uh, very much uh, elaborated here. <coughs> Ramadas Kavi Chandra Sri Gopaladas Bhagavata Charya Thakur Sharangadas. The name Ramadas, Ramadas, Kavichandra, the name Kavichandra, Sri Gopaladas of the name Sri Gopaladas, Bhagavata Charya of the name Bhagavata Charya, Thakur Sarangadas of the name Sarang, uh, Thakur Sarangadas. The 73rd branch of the original tree was Ramadas, 74th was Kavichandra, 75th was Sri Gopaladas, 76th was Bhagavatacharya, and 77th was Thakur Sarangadas. In Gaur Gunadesha Dipika, 203rd verse, it is said, Bhagavatacharya compiled a book called Krishna Prem Tarangini. And he was the most beloved devotee of Lord Chaitanya. When Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu visited Varahanagar, a suburb of Calcutta, he stayed in the house of the most fortunate Brahman who was a very learned scholar in Bhagavad literature. As soon as his, this Brahman was so Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he began to read Srimad Bhagavatam. When Mahaprabhu heard this explanation, which expounded Bhakti Yoga. He immediately became unconscious in ecstasy. Lord Chaitanya later said, I have never heard such a nice explanation of Srimad Bhagavatam. That is my injunction. His real name was Raghunath. His monastery, uh, which is situated in Varanagar, about three and a half miles north of Calcutta on the bank of Ganges, still exists and it is managed by the initiated disciples of Lady Sri Ramadas Babaji. Presently, however, it is not well managed as well in the presence of Babaji Maharaj. Another name of Thakur Sarangadas was Saranga Thakur. Sometimes he was so also called Sarangapani or Sarangadhara. He was a resident of Navadvipa in neighborhood known as Modram Dvipa. And he used to worship the Supreme Lord in a secluded place on the bank of Ganges. He did not accept disciples, but he was repeatedly inspired uh, from within by the Supreme Personality of God had to do so. Thus one morning he decided, whomever I see, I shall make my disciple. When he went to the bank of Ganges to take his bath, by chance he saw a dead body floating in the water and he touched it with his feet. This immediately brought up the body to the life and Saranga uh, does accepted him as his disciple. This disciple became famous as Thakur Murari and his name is always associated with Sri Sharanga. His disciplic succession still inhibits in the village of Sar. There is a temple of, at Mamagachi uh, that is supposed to have uh, been started by Saranga Thakur. Not long ago, a new temple building was erected in front of the Bakula tree there, and it is now being managed by the members of Gaudiya Mat. It is said that the management of the temple is now far better than before. In the Gaur Gonadesha Dipika 172nd verse, it is stated that Saranga Thakur was formerly a gopi named Nandi Mukhi. Some devotees say that he was formerly Prahlad Maharaj, but Sri Kavikarnapurna says that his father, Shivananda Sen, does not accept this proposition. We can speak something about these exalted uh, personalities who are eternal associates of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
ओम अज्ञान तिरंद से ज्ञान निर्गुण शलाकया चक्षुर्मलित तस्म श्री गुरु नम शुल is writing elaborate purports on uh, some important verses of chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, i mean chaitanya charitamrita that glorifies uh, the disciplic succession so much uh, when such a literature is written in modern time uh, everybody wants to know with reference to the context without that you cannot put uh, or propose it's a historical fact or to be to, uh, to be taken into account of some uh, contribution a real contribution to the history of the world so because this is a fact it's a realization of our uh, predecessor acharyas and we are told to understand also in the same way so the disciplic succession will carry on the idea is that uh, if you read uh, simply verbatim uh, uh, unless and until you sing in the uh, verse form in bengali tune then and then it will be little relishable but when you read the purport of shri prabhupada uh, he gives the historical fact of the present day situation that it is not a fictitious story it's not just a glorification which is uh, uh, ordinarily we are uh, used to you know hear so many times uh, repeated verbatim but rather uh, Uh, to impress the reader uh, of chaitanya charitamrita that this is the historical fact and you can just go and check it if you want to so there should not be uh, any doubt uh, otherwise what is the use uh, prabhupada would always reiterate uh, there is a railway station this is there and they are still existing uh, they were known before uh, some time ago but they changed them name so 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 uh, this is uh, a very very historically uh, profound uh, literature and to establish is the highest uh, literature as a post graduate study even for the devotees that how do we have to take uh, it's not a simply a reading matter but uh, it's a contemporary experiential matter. uh very highly experienced and uh, uh therefore um, prabhupad wants us to read in context with shrimad bhagavatam uh that uh, krishna leela in bhagavatam is uh here uh to be understood uh uh how chaitanya mahaprabhu performs his leela you may not see uh, regular dancing of uh, uh, the uh, rasa dance especially conducted in uh, varieties of forms in brindavan you can't imitate but the same kind of dance and and uh, um uh the joy of the heart which was expressed it was through our guru puja dance everybody was so much exhilarated uh, it's not a question of comparability uh, you can't compare the inner feelings which are derived uh, by practice of bhakti yoga mm-hmm. you can't compare with anything so uh, krishna leela may be a distant uh, realization but when we participate in chaitanya mahaprabhu sankirtan leela which is theoretically and practically non different than krishna leela so how many uh, intimate associates of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu and they are uh, uh, been uh, recollected by uh, 
Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. It's an amazing fact. And again, with reference to context with Gaur Gunadesha Deepika, who is playing which role and how come this role is uh, apparently different but internally it is identical. The product, uh, Prabhupada says, Phalena Parichiyate, you are uh, going to have an experience of the same ecstatic mood uh, that was obtained uh, by the gopis, uh, you will be able to obtain the same mood uh, in Sankirtan Leela. Uh, if the result is the same, uh, then that is called phalam. And it gives its own introduction. It gives its own introduction, which are at par the same, uh, uh, which is to be understood and um, through the pages of Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu of the quality and uh, uh, ecstasy that is derived in such a relationship with Krishna. So uh, it's a wonderful experience and the, the great stalwarts that were uh, associating with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu during the time uh, we see uh, this uh, exalted uh, character of Sarangadas is depicted. Uh, he can make, I mean, he takes a vow in ecstasy that whoever I will see today, I will make him my disciple. Uh, and he saw a dead body. Uh, but uh, Sarang Thakur, out of ecstasy and pure love of Godhead, uh, he touched the body and it came to the life. What is the underlying factor of life? Uh, the underlying factor of the life is uh, that the soul is very vibrant and uh, 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 infused with so much spiritual energy that uh, can be induced by a pure devotee uh, and uh, the ecstatic feeling uh, begins that that will bring forward the uh, even the dead body the soul that has departed back to the life. Uh, there are uh, many, many incidents still happening in Vrindavan and during the time of uh, um, uh, Padayatra uh, uh, in Churasi Coast Padayatra during Kartik. Uh, there are uh, Brijavasis, especially those who have been so naturally uh, attracted uh, uh, going to Parikramas. Uh, just few years back, you know, uh, there was a local group going and one lady passed away. So they were preparing, they were, uh, the, the townspeople were called and uh, take the body and uh, uh, do the rituals. So they all came and prepared, but all of a sudden she woke up uh, and everybody was surprised. But that is the kind of nature it is uh, to be understood that if such things are even uh, uh, happening before our eyes, then there must be some kind of spiritual uh, uh, interactions going on. Uh, it is too difficult to decipher, but it is happening, and you can't uh, put your um, eyes blind over the incidents. But regardless, uh, uh, Saranga Das Thakur, uh, uh, Saranga Thakur himself, uh, has been uh, 
highly uh, uh, you know, glorified because of his conviction of the love of Godhead. And uh, he happened to be a resident of uh, Modrum Dvipa in Navadvipa area. Uh, uh, and he used to worship uh, the Supreme Lord in a secluded place. Uh, he has not opened a big institution or anything. Everybody was a devotee in Navadvipa. And uh, um, they do congregational chanting, but at the same time, uh, they have their own Nirjan Bhajan also happening. Uh, because everybody has to be uh, trained up in deity worship. Uh, if they are householders, they have to do in the home. Even though we have deities in the temple, uh, but these are uh, Sankirtan deities, uh, but we have Nirjan Bhajan also recommended in the householder life where we inst may not install, but at the same time, our deities are deities, whether installed or uninstalled, you get reciprocation if you employ the techniques of devotional service. Uh, Rupa Goswami therefore painstakingly, you know, uh, brought out the process stepwise, uh, analytically with the mood of a devotee, the feeling of a devotee, the relationship of the devotee with the Supreme Lord, <coughs> and um, um, brought out so many uh, different situations that we learn in our Bhakti Shastra that are completely distinct from each other as far as the uh, ecstatic joy that a devotee develops uh, in such extraordinary relationship which may not be common. Every individual is very, very uh, precious for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted them, uh, in, even in uh, the disciplic succession that they continued, uh, we should know that they are very precious. How many branches and sub-branches? I think it goes over a hundred. Uh, what is the uh, uh, necessity to explain all these things if it is not concerned with us? Then you may have also another question. Why the lineage of uh, all the uh, uh, prajapatis have been described so elaborately with their nomen nomenclatures of individual uh, traits uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam? Uh, it is simply the name calling business. Uh, but Prabhupada wrote everything. Uh, the lineage, the physical lineage is essential uh, to know whether the Supreme Personality of God had took as an avatar in that family or any pure devotee came out. Uh, we are also concerned to raise our, our families in the Vivaramasham system in order to give them chance to, uh, you know, come and inspire everyone. In this way, the movement will go on. Uh, it is the same tut uh, tutelage that we are studying, uh, and Prabhupada painstakingly translates with historical reference of the then say 500 years back, what was the situation and what is the situation today, uh, Prabhupada writes everything. <clears throat> Where did Prabhupada get the idea of even the uh, writing the railway stations and the shifting of the villages uh, during modern time and a uh, few years back, a few 
or several hundred years back. And in India, the railway system has been old. Uh, they haven't changed yet. It's all British laid. Uh, and uh, uh, it's funny. They adopted whatever the British has said. Uh, that if you are going uh, from Delhi to south, it's called up train. And if you go uh, from Delhi to north, it's called down train. It's not uh, changed yet. Hmm. So, uh, very, very uh, historical uh, uh, anecdotes are given uh, and in reference to today's uh, modern history also, uh, how these villages have not been yet developed, but the real development was the glory of those devotees who resided there. Uh, Prabhupada even mentions that uh, such a gentleman from Calcutta who was very uh, uh, wealthy, he made this temple, but uh, nobody took care after some time. Uh, but yet the glory is there. Uh, glory is there and Prabhupada refers to the glory, not present day deliberate situation of such places. Uh, uh, <clears throat> there is a temple at Mamagachi that is supposed to be have started by Saranga Thakur. Not long ago, a new temple building was erected in front of a bakul tree there, and it is now being managed by the members of Gaudiya Math. Um, that is a, real, a reliable fact. Uh, but it is necessary uh, that if we are uh, inspired by Saranga Thakur, we can go and visit. That's how devotees are inclined to go. Uh, because if there is an inspiration for such a great personality, naturally uh, we'll be able to uh, gain a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of inner uh, inquisitiveness sat satisfied. Uh, and uh, when he gives the reference of this personality, from the Gauragona of Desha Deepika, uh, even though there are contradictory realizations that he was formerly a gopi named Nandi Mukhi, but some devotees say that he was formerly Prahlad Maharaj. Now, how do you want to reconcile with this? And no, both are correct. Because every individual will have a natural relationship uh, built with such a personality he is following, uh, then uh, the varieties of sentiments will come. There is nothing wrong in it. Uh, so, uh, if one realizes him as a uh, gopi, Nandimukhi, then we have to refer to Srimad Bhagavatam and check about Nandimukhi. Our Rupa Goswami's literatures like Vidagda um, Madhav, uh, Lalita Madhav, uh, and what is the third one? The Natak. Uh, these are all in the form of dramas. And uh, it's a realized uh, 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 leelas uh, pertaining to uh, certain uh, linkage in from Srimad Bhagavatam that are not being uh, explained by Rupa, I mean uh, Sukhdev Goswami. But these are realizations of our predecessor Acharya, so we must learn how they are linking up. Hmm. It is not a fancy or wishful thinking uh, of a, a modernized poet that thinks something on a very relative basis. But one has to dive deep 
into the literature uh, without transgressing any principles laid down in uh, understanding uh, in the disciplic succession. Within the parameter of disciplic succession. So how strict uh, following is being given? Uh, very strict. Uh, that it is not a speculation. Prabhupada wants Chaitanya Charitamrit to be the most confidential literature for those who are practitioners of um, uh, Sankirtan movement. Hmm. Chaitanya Re Sanghi Sanghi Nitya Siddha Kari Mani Je Jai Prajanta Siddha Pass. If you are serious, you can't uh, deviate. Kshurasya uh, Dhara, it is sharp like uh, the edge of a sword. So, all this we read is supporting the purpose of the Divine Leela, uh, which is identical. Why identical? Because it will give the same realization within the uh, uh, the jurisdiction of Bhakti Rasamrat Sindhu, the science of devotional service. Nobody has ever explained that in detail. There are no contemporary uh, Aparupa Goswami. They have written different types of science of devotional service. Nobody. Even the Mayavadis in Vrindavan they quote Rupa Goswami. So this is uh, very wonderful uh, literature and we have to be serious. It's not simply reading stories. Therefore, uh, Prabhupada took up a certain purpose that has a historical background as well as a realized background. So we can go further. Text number one one four. Jagannatha Tirtha Vipra Sri Janaki Natha Gopalacharya or Vipravani Nath. Other branches, right? The Jagannath Tirtha, the name Jagannath Tirtha, Vipra Brahmana, Sri Janaki Nath, the name of Sri Janaki Nath. Gopalacharya, the name Gopalacharya are and Vipra Vaninath, the Brahman of the name Vaninath. The 78th branch of the original tree was Jagannath Tirtha, the 20, 79th was the Brahman Sri Janakinath, and the 80th was Gopalacharya, and 81st was the Brahman Vaninath. Again, Jagannath Tirtha was one of the nine principal sannyasis who were Lord Chaitanya's associates. Vaninath Vipra was the resident of uh, Champahati, a village in the district of Bharadwan near the town of Navadvipa, the police station of Purvasthali and the post office Samudragada. So many, these are better than addresses. You know, no wonder if you do not know anything, but you know uh, only the name of the person and the town. And you ask somebody, okay, go that way, go that way, go that way. Uh, and you will reach without the modern day uh, signages. Uh, how this was developed? Because it gives the personal experience of the place rather than uh, just read and you will go there. So, <clears throat> the temple there was much neglected, but it was renovated in Bengali year 1328 by Paramananda Brahmachari, one of Sri Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur's disciple, 
who reorganized the Seva Puja with the worship of the temple uh, and placed the temple under the management of Sri Chaitanya Math of Sri Mayapur. In the temple as it now exists, the deity of Sri Gaur Gadadhar is worshipped strictly according to the principles of revealed scriptures. Champahati is two miles away from uh, both uh, Samudragad and the Navadvipa station of the Eastern Railway. You can visualize your travel if you think. Uh, and once if you go to Navadvip, Navadvip railway station, you can decipher the directions and you can visualize the whole, uh, you know, travel. This is called Manasik Yatra, mental travels. And it's also part of meditation because the aim is Lord Krishna uh, or his associates. Uh, Text number 115. Govinda Madhava Vasudeva Tina Bhai Yan Sabara Kirtane Najit Chaitanya Nitai. Govinda of the name Govinda Madhava of the name Madhava Vasudeva of the name Vasudeva Tina Bhai, three brothers. Yan Sabara, all of them Kirtane in the performance of Kirtan Naje dance Chaitanya Nitai. Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityanand Prabhu. The three brothers, Govinda Madhav and Vasudev, were the 82nd, 83rd and 84th branches of the tree. Lord Chaitanya and Nityanand used to dance in their Kirtan performances. The three brothers, Govinda Madhav and Vasudev Ghosh, all belonged to a Kayastha family. Govinda established the Gopinath temple in Agradivipa, where he resided. Madhav Ghosh was expert in performing Kirtan, and no one within this world could compete him. He was known as a singer of Vrindavan and was very dear to Sri Nityanand Prabhu. It is said that when the three brothers performed Sankirtan, immediately Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityanand Prabhu would dance in ecstasy. According to the Gaudgun of the Shradipika, 188th verse, the three brothers were formerly Kalavati, Rasallasa, and Gunatunga, who recited the songs composed by Sri Vishakha Gopi. The three brothers were uh, among one of the 17 parties that performed Kirtan when Lord Ch Chaitanya Mahaprabhu attended the Rathyatra festival at Jagannath Puri. Vakreshwar Pandit was the chief dancer in their party. This is vividly described in Madhya Leela uh, um, chapter 13 uh, verses 42nd and 43rd. Uh, that will be elaborate. This is only the synopsis, very, very, um, you know, introductory information is given. But those who are prominent, they will be talked in details in Madhya Lila. This is also a well-designed uh, literature. Um, you won't see the declaration and scientific nature of such a literature composed. Uh, And wherever it is possible, uh, because Vrindavan Das Thakur has described uh, elaborately, Krishna Das Kavirak Goswami said, I want to refrain. I will just give you synopsis, but I cannot override Vrindavan Das Thakur, who is Vyasadeva of uh, Chaitanya Lila. So, uh, an excellent nature of Vaishnava etiquette. Uh, is described both in writing, both in uh, admitting that uh, it's not a question of plagiarism ever been used. Uh, but the very fact has been uh, admittedly described. You need to have admission uh, that somebody has done 
before you but he did not describe elaborately so where there is no elaborate description krishna das says i will attempt humbly and i will not contradict him the previous author a vrindavan das thakur has um, already describing chaitanya bhagavat previously it was called chaitanya mangal but if he has already described what is the need of rewriting chaitanya mahaprabhu sir but prabhu says this is the standard textbook to be understood because the system is there and declaration of the system in writing is there you have to admit that this is not plagiarism so this is a very scientifically organized uh, literature in the 500 years back if uh, you know all the uh, uh, attempts uh, of uh, writing does not become a redundant rewriting then it will be called plagiarism so i would like to stop here anybody has any question or discussion Yes. The, the chapter here is described as the postgraduate study. Yes. But it seems in so many places it's actually giving us the, in, the information how to enter into the, the topics of the Bhagavata. Why it is a postgraduate study? Because the whole dis- the glory of the dis- succession has been. Uh, elaborately described in various aspect of presentations of our philosophy otherwise uh, it will be simply an imitation why it is so called gen- i mean very very genuine literature the glory of our literatures is in its genuinity nobody can say uh, and unless and until one studies chaitanya charitamrit uh, uh he will not be able to understand the position of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu why do most of in north india know him only he is a bhakta uh, he is a bhakt and why we have to postulate this uh from all these uh, writings of our predecessor acharya as he is the supreme personality of god they want to limit uh, the the qualifications of supreme person uh, you can't limit the unlimited Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came in the disguise of a devotee because uh, the internal reasons and those who don't have faith uh, of how uh, an avatar is descending uh, they don't have faith just simply belief system and they can't say what is an avatar and who is the avatar here and they get confused in both the terminologies so um, authenticity is proven on an intellectual proprietorship this is intellectual proprietorship nobody can beat that who can beat rupa goswami is intellectual proprietorship and that's why rupa goswami dared to write lagu bhagavata amritam uh, to refute uh, the uh, uh, supreme personality of godhead is krishna and not narayan 
very very intelligently you know uh, uh, written you won't find that kind of literature in Ramanu Sampradaya it's a uh, very academic sanskritized version is there but uh, uh, research does not belong to academia only uh, so the tutelage that we are following is an, a very uh, realized um, uh, combination it's not only theory but it's also practical Many verses Prabhupada does not touch uh, to give the purport even. There's no necessity. It's simply a reading matter. But wherever he has written uh, to emphasize the realistic nature of the description, it's not make-believe. Uh, It's 500 years back, if this uh, consciousness has been so much cultivated and it has to be spread, then there must be uh, a contemporary scientific basis uh, that can satisfy any intellectual mind. Prabhupada presented that in the Western world with the Western scholars, and he is the winner. So, uh, during uh, our uh, participation in Sankirtan movement, we came across those people who were really the admirers of Srila Prabhupada. They value it and we have to value more than them. It's not simply accepting, but realizing uh, that how disciplic succession has been carried by Srila Prabhupada. Uh, just, just to keep the same glories of the disciplic succession, Bhaktivedanta purpose play a very, very important role. What? Uh, uh, we see that uh, all these uh, disciplic succession, including the Manjari, Manjaris in the form of Rupa Goswami and the rest of the six Goswamis, they all they all were here like 500 years ago assisting Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and uh, I mean in the middle of uh, I mean in the beginning of Kali Yuga they are still here and we, we are trying to reach uh, back to Godhead so how do we understand uh, our situation? Gold, money can corrupt you because Kali is sitting there Right? He asked Parikshit Maharaj to give me extra space. So those who are dealing with, watch out. Just like your own example. You do not maybe knowing what are you heading for. It is very dangerous. It may not be fruitful to your um, estimations. It will be a frustration. But meanwhile, you will not listen. What can you do? Uh, everyone is affected that way. Because uh, to handle gold, uh, better give away. 
in charity and we have lot of charitable services waiting for the need what do you think put your money where it is worth don't use in worthless so called krishna conscious projects anything else yes sir. Come, Prabhupada tells that it's non-different than Vrindavan Leela. Is it an abrupt conclusion or the realized conclusion? You saw that picture on the top. It is Krishna Leela and the Sankirtan Leela. It is simply that. But how is it? Uh, the the principle behind the whole disciplic succession is our target is going back home back to godhead and there should not be any controversial uh, situation that can create an obstacle in our path so uh, every kind of security is there in presentation of the realized knowledge i'm not lying but uh, you can verify that's the kind of thing huh? i may not be able to satisfy you but uh, please try and you will realize you may realize better than me like that so the uh, vaishnav means all around vaishnav uh, and because krishna is um, unlimited we can't restrict or limit ourselves uh, many many a time there is a misnomer or or misunderstanding to understand a sampradaya to be a very limited uh, expression of views so you are confined within some boundaries no Vishnu Sampradaya is encompassing everything related to Vishnu because he is the proprietor of everything. Therefore, we must include everything. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came in the age of Kali, so uh, everything should be available to make it presented. So no confusion is there in every aspect. Hmm. there's a common saying in it a bhook hai pet bhajan na ho bhai if your stomach is empty you can't do bhajan all right bhopa say here it is maha prasad e govind the time is up <laughs> so like that huh? everything is uh, supporting each other substantiating each other and nourishing each other uh, this process is so sublime uh, that is said in shrimad bhagavatam bhakti hi pareshanu bhava virakti anyatra tri ek kal all the three things are simultaneously happening if you follow in this disciplic succession what bhakti perfection of pure devotional service will be achieved pareshanu bhav experience of uh, the supreme personality of god head and virakti detachment from the material world all three a prapadyamanasya kshuta after 
What is that? Tushti pushti cha anugasham. Just like a hungry man, uh, as soon as he receives a morsel of food, uh, all three things can be experienced. His hunger will be removed, uh, his nourishment will be given, uh, and santosh, he will be, satisfaction will be also coming. So in the same way, following in this process of this disciplic succession, all these three things have to be experienced. Uh, how long we can remain so-called bhaktas? Hmm? Everybody has been given opportunity by uh, Prabhupada uh, to read uh, Chaitanya Chaitamrit for the purpose it is meant. <laughs> It's a postgraduate study, so cultivate uh, gradually and come and um, be a reaper of the result. Oh, okay, Swaprasadam in the Lopai. Thank you very much. Shri Prabhupada Jai. If I speak a little more, then uh, you will be attracted there more. <laughs> <laughs>